it might purely be a traffic problem. And how will you know that if you don't go into your data and look? The Handmade Boss's way is to focus on data, not feelings. Because at the end of the day, many, 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 many of my students have created a six figure handmade business. So it's not a question of can it be done? It's a question of what are you willing to do in order to make it happen? Welcome to the Handmade Bosses Show. I'm Steph and my mission is to help you start, run and scale an online handmade business and build a creative life you love. I went from being in a nine to five that I absolutely hated to running my six figure handmade business in less than a year. So bosses, let's help you get your amazing products out there and get the sales you deserve. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Handmade Bosses Show. So I thought today I would do an episode all about what to do when your sales are slow, because I know right now we are in the warmer months, which means that, yeah, a lot of us do get a little bit slower sales in the warmer months right now. This is down for many, many reasons. As of recording this, it is June 2021, which usually means that obviously the warm, the warmer months are here, but also as well, a lot of places are coming out of lockdown and all of that wonderful stuff that I'm not going to be going into too much in this episode. So, I just really wanted to give you some quick fire tips for you if you're sort of panicking and you're sat there and you're thinking, what on earth do I work on when my sales are slow? I can't really afford to spend too much because I'm trying to retain some cash flow to make sure that I am okay looking ahead two, three, four months, right? So the first thing is to focus on your own numbers. And what I mean by this is that you can't go into forums and I'm not gonna go on my Etsy forum rant today, but you cannot go in the forums, in the Facebook groups and look at all the hundreds of screenshots and comparisons of other people's numbers and possibly come out of that with a real positive mindset, okay? Because it's just not gonna work. So one of the best things is to look at your own numbers. Do not start to compare yourself to other people, right? The second thing is kind of leading off of this, but it is to stay away from forums and toxic Facebook groups. Now we do have a wonderful Facebook group. If you search handmade bosses on Facebook, uh, the link for it actually will be in the show notes. So that'll probably be a better idea, but we have a real fantastic Facebook group. And I personally spend thousands each month making sure to get the right people in there. So you are not gonna find people having a bad day and posting how bad their shop is and stuff like that. We work really hard to make sure that we keep it a, a positive place and a safe space for you to be. Because at the end of the day, many, 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 many of my students have created a six figure handmade business. So it's not a question of can it be done? It's a question of what are you willing to do in order to make it happen, okay? And if you're having people coming into that group who are like, you know, I am not seeing the sales that I want, boo hoo, what am I gonna do? You know, that's gonna bring you down. So. I would really, really close guard the info and the, and you know, where you're placing your attention. Because as I said, some forums, Etsy groups, blogs, even YouTube channels are really, really toxic. Okay. So the first two are to focus on your own numbers and to stay away from toxic places because your mindset, especially at a time of slow sales, has to be really closely guarded. The third thing is don't don't go in and go crazy okay don't go in and go crazy and change everything in your shop now the handmade boss's way is to focus on data not feelings okay and and i'm going to explain a little bit more about this okay so 
we teach to focus on your own business's numbers. Don't focus, as I've said, I'm gonna say it again, <laughs> don't focus on other people's numbers, okay? So what you don't wanna do, and this is what actually a, what a large number of people do in this time, right? And I'm gonna give you like a very, very quick walkthrough of the whole reason why I decided to make this episode. So you go onto a Facebook group because you're thinking, oh, I wanna work on something to build my business, but I don't know what. You go into a Facebook group, you see a post saying, I've tried this new SEO technique and it seems to be working, or Etsy isn't showing my shop anymore on page one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And you see some people give you some really bad advice in the comments, okay? And what you tend to do is you say, well, I've got nothing to lose. I'm gonna go and change all my listings in line with this brand new, and I'm doing air quotes, brand new SEO technique. And what you end up doing is you end up doing more damage to your shop. Now, the change that you've just made, let's be honest, was based off of something that someone else said worked for their shop or their business, right? It could have been for any number of reasons, okay? I'm gonna be honest, 99% of posts on Facebook groups, especially toxic ones, they're not fully researched, okay? So what you do is that you go in and you make all of these changes and your shop completely falls off the face of the earth. Why is that? Because you've just gone and changed your SEO and you've not given it 60 to 90 days or even changed it strategically in line with your business, okay? So what have you done? You have changed something based off of how you feel, not your data. And that is something that we teach in the academy. We go really, really in depth into it, okay? We have been having some great conversations so far on today's episode, but I've got something even more special for you. You know what it takes to be shown on page one on Etsy, right? Yep, you guessed it, increasing your conversion rate. My three-step framework to skyrocket your Etsy conversion rate is my signature free masterclass. And boss, I'm saving a spot for you. Learn how to increase your conversion rate in three easy steps, as well as the top three mistakes I see Etsy shops make on a daily basis. Sign up in the show notes or head to handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion. That's handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion, C-O-N-V-E-R-S-I-O-N to claim your spot. Now let's get back to the episode and I can't wait to see you there, boss. So that is something that you definitely want to do. You don't want to feel your way through your shop. You want to make sure that you are only changing things that needed to be changed, okay? And if you're sat there right now saying, mm, yeah, but Steph, I'm not getting sales. So clearly something has to change. You know what? It might not be a matter of changing anything in your shop. It might purely be a traffic problem. And how will you know that if you don't go into your data and look? And I'm, I'm going to try not to go on my rant, but a lot of Etsy, and again, I'm going to do air quotes, a lot of Etsy gurus do teach that when you're slow, you do this, you change your photography, you do that, you do this, you do all of these different things. And to be honest, guys, that's not what you should be doing because if you're changing all these things, by the time your traffic comes back in October, November, December, your shop has changed. The customers that bought from you before are like, whoa, hang on a minute, what attracted me to this shop before has all changed, right? So I hope that those first three points make sense, is that number one, focus on your numbers and your numbers alone. Number two, stay away from toxic places and really carefully guard your mindset. Number three is don't change just anything, be strategic about it. And that leads me on to my last point, which is focus on connecting with your customers. If you're like, Steph, I can't just sit here and just and just will things to change, which by the way, is totally not what I'm saying for you to do. But if you're like, I really need to work on something, focus on connecting with your customer, focus on connecting with your target audience. The best thing, and actually the number one thing that I do when I work one-to-one -one with Etsy shop owners, the very first thing I say to do is to actually just be a fly on the wall in Facebook groups. Go and find Facebook group, Instagram accounts, Twitter accounts, TikTok accounts. Go and find the places that you're 
your target market hangs out and really make a note of what kind of words do they use? What kind of questions are they asking? What kind of people are they? Where do they live? Where do they work? What do they drive? Really connect with your target customer. At the end of the day, that is the only thing within your shop that you could do every single day for five years and it not be a bad thing okay so if you're really desperate to kind of work on something in your shop that would be my number one thing for you to do we really hope you enjoyed today's episode don't forget to check the show notes for some more helpful links and also a link to our website as well also you can watch the video version of this over on our youtube channel don't forget to get your free spot on our masterclass the three-step framework to skyrocket your etsy conversion rate at handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion that's handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion we would also love it if you could leave us a review on itunes as it really helps us to reach more bosses in need subscribe to the show and we will see you on the next episode